Why do you think you are here today, Mr. Minotrick? It was just, I think, I think it was what I was bidding on. Like, I bid on, like, a piece of wood for, like, 12 mil. I think that, like, the guy, like, I went to my, like, bids, and, like, that was the one person that I bid on that was, like, also wiped, I think. Well, you see, there's hard evidence you've been selling coins, scumbag. You, you say it, tell him. We got you selling coin for real money. You are getting wiped and banned. 100k, you also are caught. What's your excuse? So over a month ago, Yuki um, lent her dragon pet to one of her friends. You are wiped. This video is sponsored by Frag Pro Shooter, the best shooter game of 2020. Specifically designed for mobile devices with more than 30 million players. The goal of the game is simple. Destroy the enemy bunkers as quickly as possible. Once the two bunkers are destroyed, you'll be able to access the tower and destroy it to win. There's more than 80 characters to collect, and each have a unique gameplay with specific roles and powers. And then, choose your favorite characters to build your team of 5 with your own different strategies. During the game, you control one character and the other four are controlled by bots that you could switch to whenever you want. You can choose to play in first or third person mode. There is also a new 2v2 mode. You can build a team with one of your friends or a random player and play against two other players. You choose three characters from your deck of five, while your partner will get the other two. And there's free rewards for you! Only thanks to my link in the description. This includes a golden chest, 500 coins, and 50 diamonds, all valued at $6. Thanks to Frag Pro Shooter for sponsoring this video. Hypixel Skyblock contains a player-driven economy moving billions and billions of coins every day. IRL trading, or real-world trading, is the act of giving something with value outside of Hypixel Skyblock in exchange for in-game riches. Despite it being against Hypixel's rules, this thriving black market economy is fueled by players going as far as writing bots to generate coins, duping, or even scamming just to make a quick buck. Everybody wants to be rich. Some people work for it, and some people work the system. <laughs> Alright, just a fair warning guys, uh, this interview is pretty long and I'm just going to summarize it anyways for those who don't want to watch, so if you don't want to watch through the whole thing, just skip to the time on screen. When, why, and how did you initially get involved with the Hypixel Skyblock IRL trading scene? Uh, so, in October 2019, I got a message from a friend of mine asking for me to write a custom script or bot for a Skyblock. Uh, he was not an IRL trader or anything like that, he was just a player. He was actually a very well-known one, I didn't know that at the time, but anyways, that's besides the point. It was a pretty crappy little merchant script, all it did was buy a cobblestone and craft it into enchanted cobblestone. I gave it to him for free, uh, pretty much, well, because we had history together, he was my buddy. Anyways, a little while after that, I, uh, I got a message from someone who had found an old post of mine on a, on a forum advertising custom scripts for faction servers. He asked me to do pretty much the exact same thing that I had already just done for free for my friend, except he had offered to pay me, I think, like 50 bucks to give him that script. So obviously, I agreed and I sent him the code that I had sent my friend. Uh, anyways, it turned out that the guy who had asked me was actually one of the very first, or at least earliest, IRL traders. Uh, this was like in October, November-ish. Uh, and anyways, as a result of that, he was making big, big profit from that crappy little script. This was back when uh, IRL trading was pretty much in its infancy. Uh, so he kept coming back to me and asking for more and more features, basically throwing money at me to get me to code new stuff for him. And obviously I wanted the money, so I was always down. Anyways, after that, I pretty much looked at the market, you know, I googled and stuff like that, and I found on that were, there were like ton, 
tons of buyers. Like, it was just saturated with buying posts and stuff, and there was just so few sellers. Like, back then, the coin prices were almost, like, $7 per million, which was just, like, insane. Like, the crappy little merchant script that I had written for uh, my friend and the one that the other guy had bought was generating something like 20 million coins a day. So, I mean, you do the math, right? 20 million coins at 7 bucks pop, pop, that's, like, 140 bucks a day? I don't know. It was insane. Anyways, I made a post to see how much interest there was in scripts, like my macros, stuff like that. And it really, really blew up. So from there, I just, I, uh, I never looked back, I guess. Can you give us a simple explanation of what you do and some of the services you offer? Uh, yeah, sure. So with the exception of when I started, I've never really been a part of the retail IRL trading scene. I, uh, I actually don't play Skyblock, and I never have. I say retail because I've never really focused on selling coins to the actual player. I just didn't really know how to target them because, well, I don't play the game. I don't know where they hang out. But I have made tons of scripts. Off the top of my head, I've done a merchant script, a cobblestone bot, sugarcane bot, uh, anti-AFK advertising, gassed combat scripts back when that was a thing. Uh, I did a bizarre flipping script, a cocoa bean script, and a pearl spam bot. Most of the uh, ones I listed there are private, so maybe they're uh, privately held, like only sold to one person, but I still did write them. Anyways, um, in the beginning, most of my customers were people who saw the opportunity in selling coins themselves. These were mainly people from uh, other games like RuneScape or like MapleStory. I've made stuff for my scripts that uh, automatically carries out trades, drop trades, uh, the scripts can all be customized and controlled via remote control. Uh, stuff that disabled the rendering of the world so my customers could run more bots and crappier computers, stuff like that. It was always just built to try and uh, allow a higher level of like industrial usage. Anyways, uh, more recently, uh, IRL trading or the trading of coins themselves has actually fallen off a cliff, at least in my opinion. Hypixel has done a very, very good job at stopping IRL trading. Uh, the, reason, the reason it's fallen off in such a big way is just because of all of the bans now, you know? Like, almost every single coin seller out there knows that when they're selling coins, uh, the customer who they're selling those coins to, that customer is eventually going to get banned. You know, like, I know people who make, like, tons of money selling coins, like, tons of money, more money than I make. And even they don't have any, like, undetectable coin traps for methods, you know? How common is it to get detected, and are the admins getting better at detecting you guys? So, before June, you pretty much had no chance of ever being banned at all. No one, and I mean no one, really ever got caught uh, IRL trading before June. Uh, then, the big ban wave started coming, and IRL trading took a massive hit. Uh, Hypixel is insanely good at detecting the transfers of coins between accounts. I can honestly say that there's no coin seller out there, like, no one, no one out there who can get away with the delivery of coins from their coin selling accounts to their customers' accounts without getting flagged, wiped, or banned. It's pretty much always going to be a cat and mouse game, right, for scripting. Uh, they can only improve on their detections when they know that those detections have been bypassed, and vice versa. We can only bypass their detections when we know that we've been detected. So is also, I think it's very, very smart for Hypixel to be doing their like uh, boosting wave or boosting band and like the waves that they do. And given the amount of interest and demand for like good bypassing scripts, I doubt they'll ever really be able to get rid of uh, scripting's influence on their game. I mean, look at me, you know, like they came out with their math-based captures and within five or four days I had a solution out that was implemented into my scripts that was capable of solving those pretty much fully automatically, right? Like that's just five days of downtime and then the scripts were back up. Why do you do it? Uh, yeah, so that one's no secret. Uh, the money. <laughs> You know, like, um, before I was doing this, I, I had a job, like, a, a normal one, you know, minimum wage. I didn't really, uh, I didn't really make a lot of money. With IRL trading, I've been able to pay off my college tuition in full, and then I've also been able to pay for my little brother's college tuition as well. 
I'm not blind to the fact that I am part of the problem. Uh, it's just that for me, the ends justify the means, you know? Around how much have you made from doing all this? Uh, I, I don't really like talking numbers, you know? Uh, but it, it's more than I ever would have thought possible, or even really in the realm of possibility. I would attribute a, a lot of what I made to simply being in the right place at the right time and having first mover's advantage, you know? Like, nobody else was out there with scripts that could do what mine could do when everybody was trying to get into IRL trading, right? I guess to kind of hint at it, uh, in March and April, uh, which is where what I view to be the peak of the entire underground market or, you know, IRL trading scene before everything kind of collapsed with all the bans, I would say that I was making in a single day, on average, more than most people would make in a month. I know that's, again, kind of insane but that's just right place right time approximately how many people do you think you've serviced oh sorry my cat's walking in front of my mic right how many people have i serviced so i would say directly like my direct script customers i would say probably just under a thousand people maybe you know just under a thousand people have bought my scripts for either starting their own coin selling businesses or you know using it for own personal use and tell you one thing for sure everything has 100 percent slowed way down since hypixel actually started to ban trying to ban people who irl traded before hypixel intervened it was it was crazy you know like i i would have days where i would have you know 10 20 30 40 different customers in a single day i remember waking up rolling over checking my phone and literally only having paypal notifications on my screen for like as far as i could scroll like it was the only thing that i would see in my inbox i felt like a russian oligarch it was it was crazy where do people get these accounts that they used to bot on that are just seemingly disposable yeah so those would be um ufa accounts or unmigrated full access accounts so I never really, uh, I didn't like hack accounts or anything like that. I just, I just bought them in bulk from people who did hack those accounts. And then I just resold them, you know, one by one to my customers. Uh, they're basically super old dormant accounts that were made back on Minecraft.net and never migrated to Mojang. Do you have anything else to say or anything that you'd think the people would want to hear? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, if anything, I guess I'd have to give my uh, sincere gratitude and respect to Hypixel for what they've been doing with their game mode here. You know, every team makes mistakes when they're uh, when they're building a, a thing as big as this. But honestly, like what they've done here, it's amazing. Like so many people play it. It's brought so many people together. It's like become so many people's favorite game, favorite thing. All right, that was a very informative interview. Um, I have like more than 10 others just like it. I'm not going to show them to you. I'm just going to take out the key points I think you guys should hear from it. The sellers' interviews summarized. They all started at different times for different reasons. Some of them quit, some of them just wanted the money, and some of them had an opportunity too good to pass on. Basically, everything they do is against the rules, and if you get caught doing it, you get banned and wiped. They run bot accounts to sell coins for real money. They'll basically do anything you don't want to do if you pay them. They sell accounts and scripts so you could run bots yourself. If you could think of something to do, there's probably a script for it, including mining cobblestone, sugarcane, advertising, foraging, fishing, slayer, harp, bazaar flipping, enchanting, Portal spamming, nuker, gasting, and buying from the NPCs. The admins used to be really bad at detecting IRL trading and botting, but in the last few months they've really picked up their game causing IRL trading to slow down a ton. Some of them only made a few dollars, and some of them make hundreds of dollars a day even being able to pay off their college tuition. Some sellers even claim to sell billions of coins every day to different members of the community. Across their lifetime, some sell in the hundreds of billions. IRL trading is very hard to start doing due to the cost of the scripts and the accounts, as well as your accounts getting banned. The effects it has on the economy are so minimal it barely affects normal players. The IRL trading community as a whole is really sketchy as it's filled with scammers, people stealing accounts, and even people spreading viruses. The sellers aren't the only problem. 
for every seller that sells, there's a buyer that buys. What made you resort to buying coins? I guess I kind of do it because I don't really want to grind. It's like you see all the rich players going farm and sell, it's like one hit, and then you can't really make as much money because you're poor. So people just do it because of that. Don't you feel as if you kind of missed out on some of the game's progression? I mean, I've got another profile that uh, I've been grinding on, on another account. And I just, I put so many hours in and got not much out of it because it's like you got people, as I said, like one hen, sellers, farming loads, millions per hour. So I just kind of got bored of it. If Hypixel sold coins themselves, do you think you would have bought from them even if it were more expensive? Yeah, definitely. Would you though, or are you just saying that? Like, uh... <laughs> I'm, I, I swear down, I'm actually not saying that. Again, I interviewed a bunch more people just like this guy, and they basically all said the same thing. Buyers interviews summarized. People decide to buy coins because either they're lazy, they find it boring, or they just don't have the time to do it. Most of them realize they're skipping a part of the game's progression, but they just don't care or they claim to have done it already on a different profile. Most people answered that they would actually buy coins from Hypixel themselves, because it's a safer way to buy without getting scammed, and also it supports the server. Some people said they would just buy whatever's the cheapest. Along with the bands of IRL traders, there comes something else. My name is Shao Swayze. Um, I've played Skybox for uh, almost a year, and I'm an endgame player. And I also stream, I've been streaming on Twitch a lot lately too, so I am a Twitch streamer. Why were you false banned? I was false banned because the player I traded with was a scripter, or I guess a cheater. Do you have anything to say about your ban? It's crazy that I would have been banned still if I didn't have proof of this player giving me this stuff. So I would highly be cautious of any player, whether they're your friend or whether it's someone you trust the most. You have to be very careful on who you trade with. I talked to a bunch of other people claiming to have been false wiped and this is what they said. Some of them didn't even know what they were doing was considered IRL trading. Buying people ranks in exchange for coins is indeed IRL trading. Trading items from the pit for items in Skyblock is also not allowed. Getting punished for buying a rank using in-game coins seems pretty reasonable. But I think it's a bit unfair to be banning people who are trading items from the pit for Skyblock items before the new rules we got in July were introduced. The huge amount of players from the first few ban waves claiming to have been false wiped led a lot of normal players to be somewhat scared of being false banned as well. The most notable false ban claims are probably from Mindtrix and 100k Pure Handsome, who both did interviews with LEGO Maestro, claiming they didn't do anything wrong. After reaching out to both of them recently for their statements on this again, they both just straight up admit to lying. This really shows that although the admins have false banned people before, they're generally doing a good job. I talked to the admins related to the subject of this video, and here's what they wanted to share. The staff team already spends tons of their resources on stopping IRL trading and scripting. The admins already have a very strong system at detecting IRL trading and they're always working hard to improve it. There's been talks of selling some sort of in-game currency for real money, but nothing's finalized yet and we're just gonna have to see how this develops in the future. I brought up to the staff team that there's not really enough report options for the types of cheats that are being used in Skyblock today, so hopefully there's something done about that. Overall, Hypixel Skyblock is an amazing game even though it has a few kinks to work out. For some closing words, I'll say don't bother IRL trading or scripting, you're skipping part of the game and it's very likely that you'll get caught. Special thank you for those of you guys who bought my Badline Cloak, and don't forget to like and subscribe.